In this guide, you'll learn about the LED display panel and touchscreen keypad on the SolarHeart 270 HAV heat pump. We'll show you how to read the operational status display and how to use the keypad. We'll also show you how to set the clock, set the timer functions and how to select or change the heating modes. We'll also show you how to enable vacation mode to save hot water energy consumption while you're on a vacation. Turning the heat pump off at the display panel does not isolate the water heater from the mains power supply. If maintenance or repairs are being undertaken on the water heater, the servicing technician will need to isolate the water heater from the power supply at the isolation switch or at the mains power board. Note the protective cover. The cover is magnetic and can be attached to the side of the tank when viewing the display or using the keypad. Always replace the cover after use to protect the display panel. When the water heater is powered up for the first time or when the water heater is powered up after being isolated from the mains power supply, a startup sequence will occur. During the startup period, inputs from pressing the selection keys are ignored by the water heater. There will also be a brief knocking sound coming from the heat pump's electronic expansion valve. Note the location of the on-off key. Press and hold the key for three seconds to turn the heat pump on or off. The heat pump must be turned on at the display panel after the water heater is powered up for the first time. The heat pump must be on at the display panel for the heat pump to operate. The display panel will automatically go out after 60 seconds of inactivity. To reactivate the display at any time, press the on-off key once. The display panel is divided into two parts. The upper part of the display features the display area and display icons. The lower part of the display features the keypad selection key icons. The up and down keys are used to increase or decrease variable values or to move between settings when setting the clock or timer functions. The display panel can be locked to prevent unauthorized or accidental adjustments being made. To lock the display panel, press and hold the on-off key for 5 seconds until the key lock icon illuminates. The display is now locked, preventing the selection keys from being used. To unlock the display panel, press and hold the on-off key for 5 seconds until the key lock icon goes out. Setting the clock The clock key is used to set the clock and timer settings. The clock displays time in 24-hour format. The clock must be set in order to use the timer setting functions of the water heater. To set the clock, press the clock key. The hour digits will begin flashing. Press the up or down key to select the hour. Press the clock key to save the hours. Now the minutes will begin flashing. Press the up and down key to select the minutes from 0 to 59. Press the clock key to save the minutes. Now the month digit will flash. Press the up and down key to select the month from 1 to 12. Press the clock key to save the month. Now the day digits will flash. Press the up or down key to select the day date from 1 to 31. Press the clock key to save the day. Now the year digits will flash. Press the up or down key to complete the year. Press the clock key once more to save the year. The clock is now set. The current time will appear in the time date display. Timer 1 and Timer 2 icons. These indicate which timer is active and can display either 1, 2 or both. Timer on, off icons. These indicate the on and off status of Timer 1 and Timer 2. Note. The clock key illuminates red when a timer period is set. At all other times, the clock key illuminates blue. To set the timer 1 on setting, press and hold the clock key until the timer 1 icon begins flashing. The clock key will illuminate red. The timer on icon and either the hyphen symbol or the previously set on time will illuminate in the time date display. Press the clock key. The hour digits will begin flashing. The timer 1 icon changes from flashing to a solid illumination.
press the up or down key to select the on hour. Press the clock key to save the on hour. Now the minute digits will begin flashing. Press the up or down key to select the on minutes in increments of 10 minutes. Press the clock key to save the on minutes. The timer on icon will go out and the timer off icon will illuminate. The hyphen symbol or the previously set off hour digits for the timer one setting begin flashing in the time date display. To set the timer one off setting, while the hyphen symbol or the previously set off hour digits are flashing, press the up or down key to select the off hour. Press the clock key to save the off hour. The previously set minute digits will begin flashing. Press the up or down key to select the off minutes in increments of 10 minutes. Press the clock key to save the off minutes. The timer one period is now set. At this point, the timer two icon will begin flashing. If you wish to set a second timer period, follow the same method as instructed for timer one. If you don't need to set a second timer now, leave the display to exit and return to the main display, which will occur after 10 seconds. The clock key will remain illuminated red. If a second timer, timer two, is to be programmed independently, press and hold the clock key until the timer one icon begins flashing. The timer on icon and either the hyphen symbol or the previously set on time will illuminate in the time date display. Press the up or down key. The timer two icon will begin flashing. The timer on icon and either the hyphen symbol or the previously set timer two on time will illuminate in the time date display. Then follow the same method as instructed for timer one. Timer check key. The timer check key is used to check timer settings if set. The key illuminates blue at all times. Press and hold the timer check key for two seconds. One and on will flash and the timer on time will display for two seconds. And then the one and off will flash and the timer off time will display for two seconds. Two and on will flash and the timer on time will display for two seconds and then the to and off will flash and the timer off time will display for two seconds. Use the up or down key at any time to cycle through the timer settings. To cancel the timer settings, press and hold the clock key until the timer one icon begins flashing. The timer on icon and the on time will illuminate in the time date display. Press the on off key. The clock key will illuminate blue. All timer settings are cancelled. The usable water quantity display indicates the average temperature of hot water in the storage tank. The display ranges from the illumination of five bars, indicating the storage tank is full of hot water, to no illumination of bars, which indicates the temperature of the water in the water heater is below 35 degrees C. The number of bars is calculated from the water temperature in both the upper and lower parts of the storage tank. The water temperature in the upper part of the tank is displayed here and the temp icon is illuminated. To display the lower tank temperature at any time, press and hold the down key until the down icon illuminates. The water temperature in the lower part of the tank is displayed here. If the display panel is not illuminated, Press the on-off key. The display will illuminate and the upper and lower tank temperatures will display for 10 seconds. If off is displayed, press and hold the on-off key for three seconds to turn on the heat pump at the display panel. This SolarHeart heat pump water heater has two heating modes, standard, heat pump heating mode and manual electric, element heating mode. Standard heating mode. Standard heating mode is the normal day-to-day -day operational mode where the heat pump heats the water in the tank as required. The standard heating key icon illuminates red when the mode is active and blue when mode is off. If the ambient air temperature is outside of the heat pump's operating temperature range and heating is required, 
the water heater will automatically switch to the built-in electric element to heat the water. The water heater will return to heat pump operation once it detects the ambient air temperature is back within the heat pump's operating temperature range. The fan icon will illuminate blue whenever the heat pump and fan are operating. Manual Electric Heating Mode The manual electric heating mode uses the built-in electric element to heat the water in the storage tank. It is a single heating cycle that heats approximately 195 litres of water to 60 degrees C and then automatically turns off. This mode can be used in the unlikely event of a fault with the heat pump and a boost is required for hot water. To activate manual heating mode, press and hold the on-off key for three seconds to turn the heat pump off at the display panel. Off will be displayed in the main display. The manual heating key is illuminated blue. Press and hold the manual heating key for three seconds. The key will illuminate red. The manual heating mode is now active and the electric heating element will heat the water. During manual heating mode, the main display will alternately flash between off and the water temperature in the upper part of the tank at intervals of two seconds. This will continue while the water heater remains in manual heating mode. When heating mode is completed, the manual heating mode will automatically shut off. Off will be displayed in the main display. The manual heating key will illuminate blue and the standard heating mode key will illuminate red. Vacation mode helps you reduce unnecessary hot water energy consumption while you're on a holiday by preventing the heat pump and electric heating unit from operating under standard conditions. During vacation mode, the built-in freeze protection mode will automatically operate under very cold conditions if the tank temperature approaches freezing. Vacation mode can be programmed using one of two methods, set a start date or set a finish date. Note that only one method can be programmed at one time. The clock must be set in order to set a vacation period. Note, the vacation icon illuminates whenever vacation mode is active. To set vacation mode using a start date, press the vacation key. The key will illuminate red and the vacation icon will illuminate blue. The standard heating key will illuminate blue and the timer off icon will illuminate. The month digits will begin flashing. Press the up or down key to select the month of the vacation start date from 1 to 12. Press the vacation key to save the month. The day digits will begin flashing. Press the up or down key to select the day of the vacation start date from 1 to 31. Press the vacation key to save the day. The last two digits of the year will begin flashing. Press the up or down key to select the year of the vacation start date. Press the vacation key to save the year. The vacation start date is now set. The heat pump will enter vacation mode at midnight on the morning of the start date and turn off at the display panel. When you return from vacation, you must turn the heat pump back on for normal operation to continue. Press and hold the on-off key for three seconds to turn the heat pump on at the display panel. To set vacation mode using a finish date. Press and hold the on-off key for three seconds to turn the heat pump off at the display panel. Off illuminates in the main display. Press the vacation key. The key will illuminate red and both the vacation icon and the standard heating key will illuminate blue. The timer on icon will now illuminate and the month digits will begin flashing. Press the up or down key to select the month of the vacation finish date from 1 to 12. Press the vacation key to save the month. The day digits will begin flashing. Press the up or down key to select the day of the vacation finish date from 1 to 31. Press the vacation key to save the day digits. The last two digits of the year will begin flashing. Press the up or down key to select the year of the vacation finish date. Press the vacation key to save the year. The vacation finish date is now set. The heat pump will automatically exit from vacation mode and return to normal operation at midnight on the morning of the finish date, or when power is available to the water heater if it's connected to a time-controlled electricity supply. If the heat pump has been manually overridden after setting a vacation mode finish date, 
it will be necessary to turn the heat pump off at the display panel before you leave for your vacation. Press and hold the on off key for three seconds to turn the heat pump off at the display panel. Ensure the vacation key is illuminated red to confirm the mode is set. To see more SolarHeart videos, visit the SolarHeart website or subscribe to our YouTube channel, SolarHeart Industries Proprietary Limited.